Uh, what do you, uh, like, what, like, you think you're misinformed? <laughs> yeah. All right, did you hit record? Yeah, we started. All right, well. Sean's worried, too, <laughs> that I'm misinformed. All right, guys, welcome, and ladies, welcome to episode three of Radical Rascals. Uh, I'm Nick. I'm Sean. And I'm Ariana. I'm Sean. And we're the Radical... <laughs> 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 nah, so this week, uh, like we said last week, we uh, we wanted to do an episode about kind of like sexism, feminism. Um, it's kind of like the intersection between the two because they are they pretty much go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Um, so we decided to bring a female on here to discuss feminism. All right, we're going to get into that later. All right, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get into that later. Regardless, <laughs> we decided to bring someone on here who understands feminism a lot more than we literally ever could from reading our books. So that's where we brought Ariana in. So, Ariana, you have the next hour to... to- <laughs> oh my gosh, don't start with me. <laughs> no, so, um, no, you go, you go. You don't want to start? Um, no, because okay. I, I, okay. I want Sean to be able to define exactly okay, so, the stuff we're going into. So, like Nick said, we're talking about feminism, sexism, and kind of like, uh, like the last episode on racism, we're dealing with uh, like the, sort of the disease and I guess the antidote. So, um, in the same sense that uh, anti-racism is the instrument to combat racism, I would argue, from what I've read, um, that you know, feminism is the instrument to combat uh, sexism, and sexism obviously is the the product of patriarchy. So, patriarchy is is this overarching system where men generally have the power, whether it be politically, uh, socially, culturally, right, um, economically. Mm-hmm. even legally to an extent morally right in some some cultures uh and uh therefore it creates a, a, an environment of or an atmosphere of sexism and uh sexism uh obviously breeds uh, uh just an environment where feminism is required to 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 fight back so we can get into the definitions of, of feminism and sexism later. Uh, I mean, Nick, you can start by giving off your what you think feminism is, and then we can go on. Okay. Oh, gosh. Now, <laughs> so, uh, up until... I'd say up until this past week, because going into this whole week, I've tried to, I've tried to listen to a lot more things to understand what feminism is, because I'm not going to lie. Um, up until this week, I've always been against feminism. It's always pretty much annoyed me. Uh, I felt like it was because I, I would look at things and I'd be like, well, women have all these rights. Women have the capabilities. You know, the, the gender wage ga- uh, gap uh, is almost non-existent nowadays. I was looking at these things. And I was like, well, I mean, it kind of seems like feminism is is more of an overreaction. But then over the past week, I start learning about true feminism, like what it what it's really meant to be. You know, because it seemed a lot like women hating men and women like wanting to, it's almost like they wanted to switch the patriarchy with the matriarchy. And I was like, well, that just seems like the same exact problem that they're complaining about, just a different, um, just switched to to a different mode almost. But but then I I started understanding, like I, I watched this lady who was describing feminism as like women wanting to just be co equal partners with men. In, in everything and I hear that and I'm like well no I'm 100% on board with that you know she starts explaining this uh, this example um, how culturally women are told not to go out after dark because they could be sexually assaulted and how men you know are free to roam around and she's like why is it that way you know why is it that women are told not to go out because they can be assaulted if it's men doing the assaulting, why aren't they told to stay inside while women go out and enjoy themselves so that they can be in a safe environment? And it really opened my eyes where I'm like, holy shit, that, that really is like a cultural thing that, that is instilled in a lot of us. I mean, it's it's in a lot of different places in a lot of different ways. And I'm like, you know, the, so the more I look at it like that, the more I start to understand that my issue is a lot less with feminism. Um, if anything, I, I do support feminism. It's that it's with um, I guess disingenuous feminism. I, I don't know if there's an a- actual word or a specific group, but I guess it's like, like I said, it's the radical feminists who want to like, like just oppress men as like some sort of antidote for 
having been oppressed and i feel like that is just feeding more into a problem as opposed to working towards a solution so here's where i am now i'm kind of like just open and so you don't support radical feminism uh because that's not how i well, well i listen to radical feminists mm-hmm. and like I mean, I know what you. I guess I know what you're saying when you say the radical feminists who want. I guess to more them. like liberal feminists. That, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, yeah, like because it, yeah. yeah, because because uh, if you say, do I support radical feminism in other countries wherever like women are like horribly oppressed? Then absolutely, you need you need radical remedies to radical issues. I mean, that, mm. that's a hundred percent. But where it's a lot more nuanced and and complicated Mm -hmm. you know oversimplified uh oversimplified and over i guess still over exaggerated to some extent Mm -hmm. it it, i i guess that's where i don't support Mm -hmm. so yeah it's i I, i'm i guess i'm trying to i'm as of this week i'm trying to figure out where i stand in my support or lack thereof you want to switch spots so you can sit here? And... No, I'm good. Okay. I'm just no, moving around because I want to move on. I'm sorry. No, you're good. So what is feminism to you? Um, I I guess I would just put into the simple words of being pro-woman. Um, I, I, I don't think I was ever not a feminist. I just wasn't very educated on what it was. Um, I knew that we that we as women were not treated equally. Um, and it didn't, I guess, bother me. It bothered me at some points when I would see it... Um, Sometimes with, you know, the school system or the way that women were raised and relationships and, and such. Um, but I didn't think it was up until I went to college and I started just like learning about even the history of how long women have been oppressed. And, um, you know, just even little things. Um, I don't know if we can get into subjects already, but one thing that has already bothered me when I learned a lot about, um, you know, feminism was... Um, I'm not, not a problem with feminism. A thing I learned within learning about feminism was... Um, like this culture of the way that we even raise our girls like one thing i've always thought even as a child was why as a, a girl would was i responsible for my um outfit mm-hmm. um you know to be whether he was able to focus on his assignments or not we we as girls were taught in school you don't show your shoulders you don't show your knees mm-hmm. because you will distract the, the male right. students in the classroom um, you know, that was my responsibility to not be sexualized or to not to not allow somebody to not be able to work. Mm-hmm. And I to me, it just it's crazy because we never really focused on that, um, you know, or we just was like, oh, OK, it's whatever, you know, just wear things. And I'm completely all for modesty if that's what somebody wants to do. Mm-hmm. But the fact that we would sit there and tell somebody if you're sexualized, that's on you because you should have dressed ap- appropriately when it's like a lot of people don't even realize that some girls were wearing short skirts or wearing little shirts because that's all their family could afford. It was not right. ever because of them trying to dress crazy, but it's simply because that was what, you know, the situation is. And instead of just being understanding or just not caring about clothing, you sit there and you would, you know, prosecute a child right. for the way that she's being clothed. And, you know, it's crazy. It's it's not a woman's responsibility for how the, the way that a man functions. And mm, I hate right. that that's been a blame for so long. Yeah. You know, if a woman, if if a man doesn't have a good, you know, a good wife at home, then he's not able to, you know, do these things. No person should be in charge of the way a person functions, regardless of the point. Right. And, I, and I think I've become, you know, a feminist at this point in my life just because I'm tired of, like, you know, being in the shadows, you know, and that my, I feel like my accomplishments are just not seen as, as important or, you know, mm. like as significant as a man would or, you know, again, I'm not sitting there and saying that we live so back in the day, mm. um, but I don't think that cro- like progress has been crazy. Like when mm. you were going about the women's, you know, wages, I, I haven't seen, there's not a significant change. We're still at a dramatic yeah. difference. And I know. cents to the dollar. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 So to me, it's just like how you know just because women aren't getting beat as much or you know just because they have (laughs) you know they are in the workforce doesn't mean that we've overcome so much so um yeah that feminism is just you know trying to grow for women to be considered equally Mm -hmm. you know and sometimes and sometimes you know value them for what they can do that men can't i'm not sitting there and saying that they're not that they are better than men i'm just saying that sometimes it should be recognized what women can do and what they're capable of and it should be applauded more often than not 100%. Right. 100%. And I think those things would be significantly better weapons to combat patriarchy and sexism mm-hmm. yeah. than certain other things that I see that, mm-hmm. I guess, annoy me. No, but it's crazy. I didn't yeah. even know what patriarchy really was up until this year, too. And then I was like, when I was reading about it and I was reading that, like, 
47, I think it's a statistic, 47% of women um, during car accidents get hurt than more than men mm. because, um, you know, safety features are built for men, not for women. That's really? crazy. That's, that's crazy, you know, and it's just like, it's those like little... they would just be built for like people. people. <laughs> yeah. I but that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it, it's just, it's the little things that, that people are like, oh, it's not, you know, a big deal. But it's just like, it's those little things that matter. And it's just like, how, why is it that we are thought of second? Right. when we have apparently grown so much and it yeah. you know it's just it's so sad for me though to see when people are anti-feminism mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because it's just like i can i can see not being completely full on you know full force with mm-hmm. it but how can you not support people being treated as individuals i mm-hmm. just i i will never understand that yeah and even when you explain it like that like i, I agree with everything you're saying and i support it like i i do support the the idea of everyone being treated as almost like as, as human first Mm-hmm. Like just pretty much across the board, like just there's there's kind of like a general decent w- way to to treat other humans and to just like think of each other, and I think just being able to look at everyone as if they're human first, like all other qualities aside, is kind of the the general step in the right direction, yeah. um, regardless of let's say sex, race, familial status, um, mm. gender, or um, or sexual orientation. I mean, it's like at the end of the day, we're all humans. And we're all just a single human. Yeah. And if we can all treat each other as such, then we can start taking steps in the right direction, you know? Uh, yeah, no, I mean, it's crazy, like, um, what you were saying, though, about the uh, the, the, the car accidents. Well, and, I mean, look at, I, I know I wrote it down, because I was watching a couple more documentaries on my way. That's I just crazy. I didn't 47% know that. Um, yeah. women are more likely to be injured in a car accident because safety features are designed that's, for that's So 53%. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so 53% is men. <laughs> Could you imagine that? But it's like, like, so, if anything, men get Because the prison rates are higher for men. I feel like women are, are rising though. So yeah, probably. Yeah, I don't. I'm just. I'm just trying to quote the uh, the the general arguments that, it, oh, that yeah, get made. Oh yeah, Where it's like, excuses. well, yeah, it was like suicide rate is higher than men. Uh, physical labor jobs is higher for men, or uh, prison rates, or, right, or right. victims of violent crimes. Like all of these statistics are higher for men. It's mm-hmm. like, but it's, okay. <laughs> it's crazy though. Like right. when you just like when you like learn about like little things that we would just like. Oh, that's from the past. But it's right. just it's so sad to like learn so many stories about women. Like. I don't even remember what time period it was, but I remember, you know, reading up about how women um, dealing with the mental health issues were treated mm-hmm. by masturbation and not even, you know, not even with actual, like, clinical help. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, it's crazy oh that women gosh. have been treated like sexual, you know, rags Objects. for yeah. years and it's disgusting and I don't know. I, I don't know how people are not more enraged by it. Uh, to me, feminism, I, I guess I shouldn't say to me, but... I'm, from what I've read, right, these are not my definitions. I want to say, like, Sean, this is what Sean says. But uh, from the feminist scholars that I've read, you know, feminism is just a, an instrument, a tool to combat uh, the patriarchy. And the goal of feminism is to uh, eradicate patriarchal oppression. Um, and it's funny because I just did a, like a Q&A on my Instagram yesterday and somebody asked me if I'm a feminist and I wrote yeah and everybody can see your answers right because mm-hmm. I was like yeah I'm a feminist uh, fuck the patriarchy or death to the patriarchy or some shit and uh, a, a woman commented on on that post and said ally with the uh, star like she's oh, correcting that's the one me. you sent me yeah oh. so she was like correcting me yeah. and I knew exactly what she was saying she was saying that I can't call myself a feminist or men can't be feminists. That's like you being white, not being able to be an anti-racist. Yeah, but but the term, right, the term she's saying is that she said, I'm not a woman. Like, she's like, Sean, you're not a woman, and you don't know the feminine experience, and so therefore you can't be a feminist. Um, which to me is absurd, and I don't, I don't, I don't, I understand the argument, of course, but the most feminist thinkers and scholars uh, don't agree with that. You know, I've read Bell Hooks, who is arguably the most um, uh, prominent feminist scholar out there, um, and she literally has a book called Feminism uh, is for Everybody. And I think that's true because... And she, when she says everybody, she means women. She means <laughs> she means women, men, she means everybody. So, so I, that's why I do 
again, I think there's a problem with going around labeling yourself a feminist. Like, you should be given that, like, you know, that term. Like, I can't call myself a feminist if I haven't had women in my circle refer to me as a feminist. You know, Ariana, if you think I'm a sexist and I'm saying sitting here saying I'm a feminist, like, there's obviously a problem, right? You would have to think I'm a feminist first for me to call myself a feminist, right? Um, so, uh... I do think that men shouldn't be labeling themselves as feminists unless they've been sort of awarded it or credited it, right, to, to an extent. But it's like, at the same time, I don't I don't agree with, like, shooting down your supporters because, like, right now, like, when you have a fight, you, t- you need to take every right. ally that you have at the time. And, you know, I guess that's where we're going to branch off into, like, you know, this... The, the legalities of mm. feminism where people try to exclude certain groups. And mm. I want to make that very clear. If you are a feminist, then you support every female in the fight. You support the stay-at-home mom. You support the woman that wants to go to work. You support, you know, the transgender community that recognize themselves as a woman because they are a woman and they're part of the fight. And I just don't understand that. As a woman, you know... I'm, I'm like I said, I will never sit there and say that like I've seen, you know, I, I, I was, you know, I lived back when it was extremely terrible. But as a woman, you know, the struggle. So it's like you support any woman, even if she doesn't support you. It's not you're not doing it for one woman. You're doing it for every woman, right. whether they want to fight or not. Mm-hmm. Right. And so to me, it's just it's so terrible when there's an organization that could be, you know, moving and progressing when it's like we want to kick people out. It's like accept people that want to fight for you. I don't mm-hmm. get it. Mm-hmm. I mean, what do you think about uh, feminist groups excluding, I guess, uh, other feminist groups that are feminist at their core but have different branched out values? Then you're not a feminist. You're just a woman with different ideas. All right. So you're saying a feminist should stand for all women. Yes. Right? Just, regardless no, of conflicting ideologies. There, shouldn't, and, they're not, there should not be no if, ands, or buts. Because you're you're saying I'm pro-woman mm-hmm. and I mean I'm fighting for women to be equal except for you. Because this, that doesn't even make yeah, sense. Yeah. You're it's like the freedom of speech, but it's like only if you're saying things I yeah, like to hear. That to me is yeah. like, how could you be pro-everything yeah. And then, be, oh, but then write in like small detailing, not this. Right, right, right. You don't, you and that's what I'm saying. Like when Sean is going back and saying, like, you know, he's very like publicly announcing that, you know, women, you know, getting equality is one of his top things. And someone goes, no, not you. Don't get to do that. It's like, why are you sitting there and taking yeah. away from the bigger message? Right. He's promoting something. Right. He's not saying I'm going to swoop in and save women and and be yeah, like, I'm he not didn't gonna... do that. And he also didn't go. Um, I'm a feminist doing more for other women. Like he's, he just said, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the fight. Yeah, yeah. So let's go. And then they're like, well, you can't be front lines. You got to be all the way in the back because you're not this and that and that. And like, and I, and I know my audience. Like I know I have a lot of men on there. A lot of uh, young, young guys who are sexist, probably who do sexist shit, you know, it's so awkward and, when women are like that too, huh? Yeah. I mean, it's oh, when they're like and, super like, like uh, anti woman or like, yeah, yeah. Well, they're like, I like being blah, blah, blah. It's like, but how could you not support somebody else living differently? I don't yeah, get yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 and that's where, and that's why I was asking is because because there are some women who like to cook. There are some women who like traditional values, and some feminists are anti those women because their ideologies are different. No. Even though feminism at its core, even as you said, is pro woman right. and yeah. their choice. And if they choose to take on that role or to do those things, that should be all right. But if yeah. they choose not to, then it should be all right. But it's like not to be instilled or forced upon them. For sure, because like I said, um, I want equality for all women. So mm. if a woman wants to stay at home and be with her children, mm. I'm all for that. If somebody wants to never have kids, mm-hmm. I support that. If a woman has a child and she does not want the child and she wants an abortion, I support that. Mm. I support a woman's choice to choose her life yeah. because you know, for centuries, women's life lives have been chosen for them. Mm-hmm. And we're in a different age. We're in 2021. We need to start pushing for women to be equal. If we have men that are allowed to sleep with a bazillion girls, then mm. I don't understand why we now, you, like like I said, like treat women like these horrible people for living right. the same way. Mm. And I hate that whole thing where it's like, oh, it's this and it's that. Again, I'm not sitting there and saying like, you know, go crazy. Like I said, if you want to, I'm in support of that. But I'm just saying like, <laughs> I am. But I'm just saying like, I don't know why people, you don't lose sleep over right, people's right. choices in right. their life. 
So I don't understand why you can't support someone just being happy and wanting equality. And I mean that for everything. And so it's just like, for me, it it sucks being around women that don't support other women. It Mm. sucks being around men who don't even see that they don't... Not even care or want equality, mm. but they don't even give a damn about women. Right? No, like, they that's, what should, like that. that's what we should. That's what we should. It's it's fine. They'll be all right. That, literally, they yeah. try to make it seem like it's not, and that's what I'm saying. Like it was like scary when you first when you first like we're talking. And you're like, I get annoyed by it because it's like I've never like gotten annoyed by people wanting more. So it's like, right. yeah. But I guess what I get what you're saying. You're just like, no, you want strict equality and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, it, no. it's it's like the unequal equality. I mean, because I. And once again, what I'm describing is my views coming up to this point because just over the past months is whenever I've been trying to open up a lot more, especially politically, and and I've been kind of reevaluating a lot of my beliefs. But like, you know, I didn't want to come into this lying. I mean, you know, like better than anybody, like these have been my beliefs for a really no, long time. No, me and me used to argue about certain things, and yeah, I, but I have seen like over time because like remember mm-hmm. there was that time you're like my wife is strictly going to be at home, and yeah, I was like Nick, absolutely. like that's not make sense. And then now I feel like you've seen you're like no woman in the workforce like yeah. makes sense. But if then she again wants, my girlfriend is at home, but but if she wants to be, but if, yeah, 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 just no, like if she wanted but... to work full time, you'd be like Lynn, we're gonna figure it out. Yeah, yeah. and that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like I'm not sitting there and saying I want to live in a utopia full of women that just have you know great happiness and stuff like that even though it sounds so great i you know we need men to open <laughs> to open jars said, and to kill know. spiders and everything uh, we need it, you guys but um said. it's just like yeah i don't know i, I just there's a an interesting oh, I didn't see uh, quote by from bell hook so i'm gonna keep referencing throughout because i've read you read one book by one author no, no, <laughs> I've, I've read. <laughs> who wrote the Who wrote the um, feminist am- manifesto? Oh. I don't know who wrote that. Sylvia Plath is yeah. my favorite, so don't. Know <laughs> she she was wasn't she like super feminist as well? Yeah, she was. Yeah. She was amazing. Poor thing. She remember she like she took her life. Yeah, like, in, made the, it in, in the, the oven. oven. Yeah. yeah. She whoa what? Actually, I'm, I, you know what's crazy? You're saying that I'm rereading the Bell Jar as we speak. No, I was just watching this video earlier. I mean, it's why I brought it up, like, from this person called ContraPoints. I was telling you earlier. Uh, she's a trans woman, and she was talking about, like, trans people, or I guess trans women specifically, because uh, she was talking about uh, gender critical. So, yeah, like, radical feminism. And she was talking about trans women's place within radical feminism and, mm-hmm. like, TERFs, like, trans exclusionary radical feminists. And she brought up Sylvia Plath, and she brought up, like, um, some quotes by her and it's it's the only I, reason I even thought of it. I don't know why when people bring up anything LGBTQIA I take it so personally just because I am so annoyed that people are so hateful towards that group of people. Yeah. Um, I hope I'm wording that correctly. I would not yeah. want to offend anybody but yeah. um, just you know it just it's so infuriating to know um, you know especially when other women are doing that to you know that yeah. to women in the trans community because it's like you have you know you have been treated such and now you want to treat these women like that like mm-hmm. i don't understand yeah. especially it. when they they're new like they they just come over to they, they just transition into being a woman and i mean just from the video i was watching she was saying that like she didn't she's like look i i grew up as as a boy i grew up you know obviously not knowing how it is to grow up as a girl but transitioning into a woman She's like, I, I had to endure plenty of hardship. She's like, yeah. do you think it's it's an easy thing? She's like, I'm not saying it's the same thing, but I'm saying it's difficult and making it more difficult does not make it better for anybody. I agree. I know. Yeah. I, I, I think the trans women deserve way more respect than they are given even by other women. And it's, it's heartbreaking to know how they are treated. Um, but it, yeah, no, it just, to me, again, if you're a feminist, but you have stipulations, you are not a fem- feminist. So stop the fight now. Mm-hmm. because you're not an ally because trans women are women stay at home moms are you know they can be feminist you know like I said I don't care what a woman does you know a gay woman if, right. if she wants to dress you know however right. she wants I support that like I said right. any choices that a woman has that is you know kind to others and herself I don't understand as long as women don't get tattoos I agree with you oh my gosh <laughs> I'm kidding. You know, in like some cultures, yeah. women were the only ones that were tattooed. Oh, was that the the Filipino cultures? You were I sure? was learning about a lot yeah. about the Philippines. A lot of the, their women were warriors before mm. you know they were colonized, and it's just crazy. That's what I'm saying when you when you read about certain things, especially like when you watch childbirth videos, and you're like, mm. how could you not think mm. that women were magical? Yeah. Like they're out here creating life and not even just creating, it, but pushing it through, uh, like <laughs> breaking your body for yeah. something. Like that is amazing. Um, yeah, it's crazy to me. 
Are we going over gender as well, or are we just doing feminism? We can today? touch on gender. Well, we can as touch well. on it. It, it uh, does tie into this. I mean, no, just because we keep you know like talking about certain things like that. So I was gonna that. say um, the hooks. <laughs> oh my gosh, we really stepped over that. I'm sorry, yeah. Sean. <laughs> no. Uh, How does it feel, man? <laughs> <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. So now we're good. <laughs> uh, because we're talking about you know being equal and you know it's interesting because even in that in that conversation, uh, Bell Hooks says that she is not in line with with that um, that that sort of uh, ideology that mentality of oh we want to be equal with men because the reality is here in the United States. All men are not equal. So what does oh, wow. that mean? I didn't even think about it. You know what that. I'm saying? Yeah. What does that mean? And we, we have to think about... Again, it's just wording. It's semantics. What what yeah. we know? I know what you mean when you say we want to be equal. But, you know, she brings up a very good point. Like, men, first of all, are not equal. So so where are we going? That? And that's where inter- intersectionality comes in. Yeah. But I think we'll get into that later. But we should talk about sexism right now. Um, and uh, I guess... I guess we can we can define it. Um, for me, I think there are two types of sexisms. Um, well, there's really one. Uh, it's institutional systemic sexism. It's sexism on the um, on the institutional level. But um, the sexism that we know today, which is everyday sexism, uh, is a byproduct of that institutional sexism. So without institutional sexism, there can there isn't really um, everyday sexism. You know, if we eradicated, obviously, the patriarchy and institutional sexism, uh, the goal, of course, would be that uh, everyday sexism would eventually eradicate with that. And uh, the point is... um, Sorry about that. We had a a rude person. (laughs) Don't say that. No, I'm kidding. I love his mom so much. Uh, Oh, she heard me. (laughs) Um, So, yeah. So, institutional sexism, like we mentioned, wage gap, um, things like, again, this is outside of the United States, but some women can't travel to other countries without their uh, husband's permission. Um, Genital mutilation, very physical, violent form of... uh, 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 sexism, um, just women, just culturally having to change the last name, right? That's that's a form. Uh, oh women God. going to move in with the husband's family as opposed to the man, right? These are sort of, uh, again, they're everyday also, but th- these are institutional. These are systemic. Yeah. Uh, and then everyday Even on sexism. some level, cultural. Right, and cultural yeah. as well. well. I have a question. So does, with the, like what sexism, does gender roles and rape culture go into that as well? I believe so. I mean, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Um, And then everyday sexism. I mean, you can talk about everyday sexism. I mean, getting unwanted uh, compliments, you know, harassment, harassment. I mean, that that goes a long way. And you know what the weirdest part is? And like I said, I'm not going to speak for every woman, but I'm going to say this, which I don't know. I I feel like a lot of women are going to agree with me. It's disgusting to realize the older you get, the less creepy comments you get. So you get them more as a child. You get more sexually mm. harassing like comments when you're young than I never opposed to a twenty year old. Like I was getting that more at like twelve and thirteen from grown men than I do as an adult woman. Yeah, that's crazy. Which is disgusting. I didn't know that, but wow. Yeah, and it's crazy because I, I actually saw a TikTok where someone said that they're like, Does anyone like feel weird that we were more harassed as a child than you are as an adult? And then I had to resonate with myself and I was like Yes. And, you know, it, it's it, I, I like something that you you spoke about earlier when you said that women are scared to go out at night. It's another thing that I, I was, I don't know what it was. I think it was like a YouTube video or something. And I was what a, a woman was saying, like, getting asked questions. And they go, well, what would you do if men didn't exist for one day? She goes, walk around at night. Right, and right. I was like, oh, my gosh. I never thought about that. But, like, I wasn't even allowed. My parents would not permit me to walk yeah. to the school yeah. bus if, if Nick didn't come pick me up and yeah. walk me there. And I just was like, oh normal like no i needed a boy even though we're the same age we probably had the same amount of muscle when we were both like 12 yeah, we still get our shit rocked <laughs> so it's like you know thinking so, about that it's like you know it just it's so weird how we didn't realize that gender roles play an everyday thing like even with languages like some people have like we the female way of saying things the male way of saying things like right. it's so crazy how things are divided in so many ways that's in like um, french and spanish french i know in spanish for sure is albanian that way 
Yeah, of course. So it's just crazy how like so many things are separated, and but people deny the separation of everything. Yeah. But um, no, it is crazy. What is sexism uh, to you, Nick? Because when I said institutional, you know, you... All right, yes, I rolled my eyes because it's going back to the same exact argument as last week. What did you argue about? The uh, the, the argument about sex or racism being, like, inherently systemic and me saying that racism itself isn't systemic. Systemic racism is a separate thing. It's literally splitting hairs at this point. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it doesn't change anything about our arguments, beliefs, or, or, or our agreement on anything whatsoever. But, but yes, I rolled my eyes because I agree to an extent. I mean, because sexism itself is the, the belief or the actions that, uh, that the belief and the actions that one sex is better than another or deserves to be treated in a different way, um, inherently because of, of their, their sex. Which so the argument is you don't believe that? No, I'm I'm saying I do believe that. Oh, I believe so that that's what sexism is. It's just he's saying that it sexism is institutional and it's systemic. Basically, he he believes that it, it's it comes from the top. It comes from the systems and cultures in place and trickles down to people. And I believe that people make up these systems, so it's on an individual basis that rises its way up to you the both top. Both are right. Exactly. You it's it's right. literally every, like it's just different perspective. Different. Yeah. I can that's what I'm saying I can see both both of that but like yeah. it's like so it's like stereotyping gender yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean gender. I like I see how you know I can see how we're both but right it's like, in that sense. I get what you're saying though like it has to be taught like you can't do you don't just wake up like just Yeah, you, yeah, uh, it needs to be taught obviously. But like no, I, what's I, important I get it. I get it. What's it's hard because it's it, literally what it comes down to is I call this sexism or no, I call what he's talking about systemic sexism or institutional sexism, and he calls it sexism, and he'll call mine everyday sexism. That's literally it. That's yeah, yeah, but but there's a reason behind this the semantics here, and the the reasoning obviously is is that um, we can we can stop sexism on the on the daily. We can promote that, but that shit is still gonna come down from the but top if we because change it's it daily. Then it no. works. Yeah, because that is how kids learn their cultures from their parents. If we change so that's, it, isn't that the top though? No. Well, there he's saying is, if we change it at the bottom, it won't change the top. But I think that it would. It yeah, wouldn't. you can. I, raise I'm gonna it. say that only because I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I'm gonna say it's not going to because, um, I mean, think about it. How many people have you know? older parents that think so drastically different and you can say all day to your blue in the face that's not right that's not okay and the parents are not going to change their mind because that's the way that they were taught so it's like if we fix that way then it would never triculate that way i'm not saying that the bottom can't grow and learn but like there's going to be this middle section that never gets better because the top always stays the same okay you guys are right no it's not that no no, no I'm, I'm being genuine like I, I know it sounds weird because like i'm switching up so quick but now that i think about it you're right because i'm thinking Let's say, numerically speaking, like, 40% of people agree that sexism is fucked up, right? And 40% of people raise their families this way. It's not gonna... That's not enough to change the institution, even though 40% is a substantial number of 300 million. That's, like, 120 million. Yeah, I... Like, I try to think about certain things like that. Again, not comparing, because it's not, like, good at all, but, like, compare it kind of, like, water on a tree. If the tree's wet at the top and you fix the rain, then it won't trickle to the bottom. But if you just fix the bottom, the top of the tree's still going to get wet. We can all educate. If we have children, we can all educate our children to be, you know, anti-sexist, anti-racist. But they're still going to schools. They're surrounded with people. They're, they'll then go to college. They'll get a, work, a job. Everywhere they go, they go it's, on the TV. It's everywhere. It's in the music. You know what I'm saying? Just say it, so Sean. If we there. have kids, it's going to feed into capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> so going to the core, then. The core of this argument is capitalism breeds sexism. No, so, all right. So then I think also button that up because your pee is about to come out. No, I have boxers. Anyway, so I think then... Don't be sexist. (laughs) I think then it would probably be a little bit of both because you need to change individuals' minds to even be able to change this system. But changing individuals' minds isn't enough to change the entire system. So it's like, it's almost like a little like 
ebb and flow, a little give and take on, on in yeah, both ways. Yeah, what did we talk about in the last episode with anti-racism? The goal yeah. is, is, is start individually. Right. But and that, then again, use we have the to individuals to collect and... To, and change yeah. the system. Yeah. Right? But changing the individuals is not it. Which right. I'm surprised you didn't stand by what he said because you're so anti-public education because yeah. you know the propaganda that's fed to kids. So yeah. it's like, why... No, no, no. I'm not saying that... I'm not saying we shouldn't change the system whatsoever. That No, no, no. That, that's not what I meant. I just... I felt that it starts individually and works its way up into the system because individuals make up these positions in the system that, that perpetuate it, right? So you change the, the people and then you change these different parts that are perpetuating it yes. and you're kind of preventing it from spreading further. That's what I meant. So changing the system by changing the individual is what I meant. But like, but the more I'm thinking about it right now, the more I'm realizing it's kind of like a little bit of both, you know? Yeah. You, it, it is partially that where you, you know, by changing individuals' minds in key points you can change the system which will change more individuals which will change the system and then it kind of like goes up and down that's it but like if we were just strictly talking about like you know like sexism like when we're talking about that kind of like giving the examples like we could treat like you know teach our kids to be one way but like i said when you go to the school system girls have these certain set of rules that they have to abide by so it's like already feeding into that right uh so so everything's terrible all right Uh, we're all on the same page (laughs) uh when it comes to sexism I guess uh, another important question is, and again, I'm using the same format as the last episode, but I think it's important, um, is that this sort of reverse sexism, this idea of women being sexist, Mm. is also a problem because I hear men always trying to throw it back at women. Like, well, that's sexist. You're being sexist. You know, you're doing this. And... I, I don't think ra- race uh, reverse uh, sexism isn't real. I think only men can be sexist. I don't think women can be sexist, right, in the same sense that black people cannot be racist. And that's because they don't have that institutional... Because we live in a patriarchy. We don't live in a matriarchy. Mm-hmm. We live in a patriarchy. Mm-hmm. So therefore, only men have the power to, uh, to, 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 ins- to utilize and deploy... Uh, um, Sexism. Women right. don't have that institutional systemic power. So we need to be careful with how we word things. And when we hear men th- calling a woman a sexist, you know, I've heard that so many times. Like, you're being sexist to me. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, you're not. Like, you, um, a, um, a woman cannot be sexist to a man. It doesn't exist. It's, it's just impossible because that they don't but have But you said that. that everyday sexism does exist. And that it's separate from institutional sexism. It's a byproduct of institutional sexism. Okay, so on a, in an everyday level, could women be sexist to men? No, because they don't have... Again, they're only... Everyday sexism comes from men, mm-hmm. right? In the same sense that there's like... There's sort of everyday racism mm-hmm. f- from white people. Mm-hmm. Like, white people can be racist mm-hmm. with the words they say, right? Mm-hmm. Black people can be prejudiced with the words they say. Okay. So in that same sense, uh, uh, men can be sexist. Mm-hmm. Women can be prejudiced. Based on sex. Yes. But women cannot be sexist. Only That's reserved for men because they have that patriarchy uh, behind them, supporting them. I, I understand what he's saying and I agree to a point. There are some parts that I'm, it's not like maybe I, I just haven't settled on it all right. Um, because like I said, I get what he's saying, like... You can't be one way and then all of, all of a sudden it's another. But I do want to quote you again. I don't want you to feel like I'm like bashing or anything or going crazy on you. But, um, what? I just wanted some oh, water, but I didn't want to interrupt you. Um, but again, I have to ask you again because I kind of agree with Sean. Do you think it's your internal misogyny that's been raised in this patriarchy that makes you scared? Because you said, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to end up in a matriarchy. Like, why are you mm. so fearful? You were raised by a single mom. Yes. So you would think that, like, you know, women have done such a good job so far, and mm-hmm. obviously, men leading so much hasn't really done much. Right. But like, what is the fear of the matriarchy so much? But who said fear of the matriarchy? I thought I think I think he did when he was like, I don't want it to be one way, like flipped. Um, he was like talking about the yeah, p- because I feel like establishing a matriarchy would just be, in essence, it would be establishing a system in which women are the oppressors. And at that point, we still have an oppressive system. So it doesn't sound like a solution. The solution to me sounds more like, you know, the, the dismemberment of, of patriarchy, you know, not the, the rise of matriarchy. Okay. So that we have nothing other than, like I said, viewing each other as humans and just 
putting a qualified human, regardless of, of all other aspects, in, in whatever position it would be, you know? Like, if, if a woman is incredibly qualified for a job, and she's, you know, she, she rises up, she campaigns, and everyone's like, holy shit, you know, she, she's so intelligent, and she makes all these great points, and she's got this great plan, yeah, by all means, I support that, that human being. I put, I'd support them being in charge, because they have a great plan, regardless of, of, of all other qualities. So I guess that's what I mean whenever I say like uh, matriarchy. It just it just I, starts I, to flip. I, okay. Unless you want to. No, I just I what I he said, I said that earlier. I didn't understand. So then when you said that, it made me think about this. So like yeah, because I was going to ask him about like if that would be sexist. Uh, yeah, the because attempt you're saying at, you can't be one way. So it's like, right. what if we flip it? Like what? If right. So like in the attempt of establishing a matriarchy and flipping it in which um, in which females become the oppressive class to males, then. Wouldn't well, that the attempt at establishing that if be there's sexist? a revolutionary flip, does things change now? Well, here's right? the thing. Here's the thing. Um, I think this is a, a good example. Is the idea that like when white people think black power is gonna, you know, black power means oh my god, black people are gonna be the masters and the oppressors. Right. And I think it's the same. I think it's the same thing. Mat- just because patriarchy is all about oppression and subjugation. And you know, treating women like shit. That doesn't mean that patriarch uh, matriarchy means oppression and treating men like shit. You know what I'm saying? That that matriarchy and patriarchy. Yeah, th- we know what patriarchy is because we live in patriarchy. Mm-hmm. If we implement matriarchy, you know, that sort of unconscious assumption that um, matriarchy is just going to be just patriarchy, but with women in charge. Well, I don't think it would be exactly the same thing, but I think that the the, the whole core of pretty much all the issues that we touch on is okay. oppression. Oh. Well, I mean, like, the, the core yeah. of, like, all these systems in right. place is oppression. Right. So I feel like regardless of who is oppressing whom, you have that oppression, which is the very core, which I believe is creating a lot of issues for a lot of people, regardless of whatever class it may be. It, oppression is oppression. You yeah, know, I don't think it would be exactly the same. I don't think matriarchy would carry the same issues as patriarchy. But right. I do think that as long as that oppression is there, that we would still have right. oppression. You know? But but that oppression is not guaranteed. There, there's nothing that that, that we know but about it's matriarchy. Like it's, it's a dominant and a dominant or a. A dominant and a dominated class. No, because if I mean, you look at what patriarchy, you know, really is, like mm-hmm. the Google definition, it's just a society that goes by the father, right? Everything is through right. the through the fa- through the patriarch patri paternal. What's pa- the pa- paternal? Paternal oh. paternal line. Whereas yeah. matriarchy was maternal. is through the maternal line. Yeah. So patriarchy, as we know it today. Right, not the Google definition, but yeah. patriarchy. What we know today is is this system where men control everything politically, culturally, socially, economically, legally, right. morally, culturally, everything. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah m- m- more uh, uh, matriarchy does not mean that it's going to be the same oppression. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what matriarchy is in the context of the United States. We know, we can look at some matriarchal societies. And, and it's like, well. and I'm they're doing say, they're, they're, they're doing, doing really well, and th- that men don't go. We need freedom, you know. So, I mean, if we implement it, to, to assume that matriarchy uh, is just going to reverse it, where now the women are the oppressors, um, I, d- I don't think that's accurate because I, I you know, it's just assuming that you know matriarchy is going to be the same thing. It's, it's, it might not be the same thing. Yeah, it might be. You're, you're right in well, saying I mean, that it might be. And if, it, it, if it's a system that's run by women and putting women in charge then isn't that, like, inherently the same thing as putting so much focus on, like, this, uh... Not this detail, this quality of a, of a person other than, like, the person themselves? Like, yeah. you know, it's, it's like if, you know, going back to how you said about about black people uh, in, a, in a white society, I mean, if there was a group of black people trying to implement um, a black supremacist society, I mm-hmm. mean, that that would start to border on on racist that would because that would mean that they're trying to get into a position and i'm not saying that uh black activist groups are doing that i'm saying if there was a group of black people who wanted to do that 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 would start to start to be the same problem just in a different uh in a different color no pun intended so i feel like it would be the same thing 
with that is because they're, they're being put in charge because they're women, mm-hmm. not because they're specifically qualified. Well, it's not. Look, it's not the fact that. Um, again, there's nothing. I personally don't think that there's anything wrong with uh, a, a society where women are sort of the center. Mm-hmm. Right, because that's also a cultural thing, you know. When yeah. there are cultures out there that just women, we come from women. Women are our gods. Okay. We say mother nature. We don't say father nature. Period. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so like, right. I, I think that I think that um, a society like that, which we don't know about, mm. um, it would be interesting to experiment. I understand, like, okay. You know, if if there are Hillary Clintons in charge and shit, oh, yeah. that is very dangerous. And I and I know I think that's where you're getting at because oh, right. if we implemented a system like that where there where there are racist, non intersectional white women, rich white men, women, um, you know, pushing this sort of system, then 100 percent you're right. And you're not wrong in saying that the oppression would still be there, but we don't know if it would it would still be there. You know what I'm saying? We're just, I just thought that inherently it. it would be yeah. because of the system that's being established. It's a system that's being established in which like a certain group of people is in charge because they're a part of the in group and it create that will always create this division mm-hmm. between in group and out group. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I think I, but you're matriarchy. Just worried that, like, because you watched the Rick and Morty episode, like, where you're gonna absorb, absorb. No, you're scared that it's is gonna not, be like that. that but matriarchy not. doesn't <laughs> mean matriarchy doesn't necessarily mean women have political power, economic power, culture. That's what patriarchy is, right? Matriarchy is just a society where women are are the center of the society. I think he's thinking of an extreme flip. Like, so you're, pretty much, you're I'm thinking flipping. of everything right now. Just flip switch, like where yeah. all men right now are in position. Just now become but I think women what he's in positions. Saying is like it would never get to that point because we don't know its potential. So to assume it is kind of like feeding into all the stuff that we right. have in now. So but one hundred percent, you're right. Okay. If we flip it, I'm, I don't support that. I don't want you to think that I support that. If we flip it, I don't support any system of oppression. Okay. But just that assumption that it, that it will be flipped exactly is the same assumption white people think when they see black power right, pro right, right, right. activists. That's right. just all. That's all I wanted that's to misogyny say. Talking. <laughs> no, it's, in, it's it's internalized. We all have. I mean, maybe we all to have some it. degree, you, you are. I right feel like about everybody that. did, especially when you're growing up. Of course, you're taught a certain way. And no, again, because I, I have heard his exact argument, like even in the book that I'm reading that. Sean gave me to read. Uh, it, it's called Stokely Speaks, and he literally he talks about how white people think that like black power meant like death to white people. Yeah, you know, and it's like, well, no, it just means black people like are empowering themselves and having pride in themselves. And it's like, right. and then white people counter is like, well, what about white pride? And it's like, well, that's different. You know what's so weird is I feel like with any group that was oppressed yeah. and the oppressor, the oppressors talk like that because they're so scared that they're going to be treated how they treated others. Exactly. Yeah. And it's so exactly. pedagogy of the oppressor. It's so crazy 100%. to me. It's so sad. And it's like, again, I'm not, I know we're not speaking about, about race, but I remember yeah. one time somebody was bringing that up and use that exact exa- example. And they go, you know, it's crazy that, you know, white, white Americans will sit there and portray us one way, but who has been the violent, evil people, you know, for a long period of time. We right. weren't, you know, people of color weren't hurting others, mm-hmm. you know. So it's just like, I guess, hearing, like, when you're like, oh, flipping it, I think you're scared because you've seen how, you know, misogyny, you know, this country with patriarchy and misogyny has just hurt so many women that, like, I think you're like, oh, then it would just flip where, like, women would disabuse men. Yeah, because honestly speaking, in my head, I imagine... An exact flip flop. Yeah, I, I imagine, like, me being a traditional wife. Mm. you know doesn't that sound scary to you like i'm just saying like <laughs> i mean i mean to some degree because i do like cooking and i wouldn't <laughs> mind staying home with the kids and like but but regardless like i imagine me in an apron and my wife coming home and then something about that idea emasculates me so maybe to to some degree mm-hmm. you are right about it being misogynist. Uh-huh. okay can i say i hate when people say that yeah. i one time got into an argument with somebody uh i won't even say anything of who they are but i got into an argument with somebody because i was talking about how you know i was giving an example of a man that stayed at home and he goes that's not a man and i said mm. why and he goes because that's like gross like well that's not a manly thing to do and i was like what's more manly than being there with your children and taking yeah, right. care of your children and loving yeah. your children yeah. and he goes nope nope that's a woman's job so why is that negative in your mind why is a woman's job in your mind considered a negative considered yeah. demasculating like i yeah. i don't you know mm. me like it's weird to me that it's like I, if you have to, like, if you can sit there and say, I wouldn't switch places with a woman, then you know that this, the system's freaked up. Yeah. Wow, that's actually such a good litmus test for every type of oppression. <laughs> it's like, wow, yeah. Because if, if white people wouldn't want to trade places with black people, then you know something's fucked up. Exactly. Exactly. 
Wow. Uh, no, that's, that's no, a I, I wish I knew actually like this, it was from a woman. I know her name has Elliot in it. She's like Elliot Jane. She's Jane like, Elliot. Yeah, she like goes and talks. She was mm. one. She went to a college and mm. she told everybody all the all the white Americans that they would stand up if they would switch yeah. places and nobody stood up. And mm. she's like, then you know you're living like this yep. and you allow it to happen, which means you're part of the problem. Exactly. That is exactly. And so wow. that's what I'm saying. Like, you guys, I need passive passive you guys keep talking. To passive me, sexist, same thing. But to me, that's why. Like, again, I'm not my like my intention for coming wasn't to sit there and make men hear this. And go, you know what? I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and do this. No more generals. And for me, again, I don't believe in generals. Again, mm. but that, my intention wasn't even come here and like change your mind. But like, I would hope that I would hear it come out of your mouth. Like, I'm pro woman because like, I'm especially pro-woman. the fact that you. I've been friends you with he, I've been friends with Nick since I was like 11 years old. Okay. You know what I mean? And Nick has. And I can honestly say that Nick has always treated me equally. I've never hung out with you know Nicholas and felt like oh, I'm the girl. Mm. I, good, honestly, I I would I was more scared of like fighting against her than fighting against some guys. But I feel like and, verbally like arguing. I'd be. Like, I'd I, rather like I, argue against three other people at once. But than, I like, feel like that was also ground. because Nick respected me. So I was. Right. It was always weird to hear him say I'm not a feminist or I don't agree with this because it's like to mm. me he's always had the actions of some right, pro woman right. uh, being very pro woman feminist but right. i think it's the little stipulations or maybe it's like small internalized misogyny that hasn't pushed you towards full force like i said yeah. he was raised by a single woman so he sees yeah. he sees the hard work that they mm. put in he sees the potential yeah. he sees the like you know what can what's capable of that i would say it's a combination of some level of internalized misogyny mixed with what i see the how I see radical feminists get portrayed in media. Which I don't blame you because yeah. any organized, you know, group is terrifying yeah. because there's yeah. always those those people that remind you, that's why I'm not part of it because yeah. you take it from me. But it's like, you know... It's like with Christians, you know how... Yeah, you know how, like, you can see... No, seriously, you know how, like, you, you, you see some of me like, wow, you guys are, are lame. And then, But then, like, I meet some individual Christians where I'm like, wow, you are just... You are just such a delightful person. Yeah. You know? So I, I get exactly what you mean. And I, I think you're right in that sense. But uh, it's really nice to be around guys. And it's crazy because, like I said, I grew up with both of you guys. I grew up yeah. with Sean. I've known Sean since middle school. I've known I've known you used to you bully since... the shit out of Sean. Dude, <laughs> man, that's why we brought you on here. <laughs> just bully the shit. <laughs> no, but it's crazy no. but though, that I'm saying, like, I've, I've, you know, I've hung out with you guys for years, Um, you know, and other guy friends and you guys have never made me feel like the girl my you guys have never you know sexualized me you have never you know disrespected me and it's crazy that like i value these friendships so much but it's like this is how life should be hmm. it shouldn't be like you guys should be applauded for being good right, people exactly. this is how men should act right, again I i'm grateful agree. but it's just like we should no, not no, be like right. you know telling other men like oh you know just because they didn't do this like i don't know you know and it's just yeah. super weird when we hear certain people say certain things and again sometimes you know everything's a joke but like just sitting there like blatantly thinking about things like it's really crazy that some people are okay with oppressing others yeah. or not viewing others as equals and i feel like that's like at the end of the day like this whole talk we all keep even if there's like small disagreements there's all the agreement of <laughs> everybody's equal and i don't understand that the only thing is that you keep saying human you keep saying human yeah. right do you think yeah. it's important to I- identify gender though because you keep saying human 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 which i'm again i'm um, completely not into gender roles i'm if somebody doesn't want to identify as a gender i respect you and your pronouns and that will I always come from me i was gonna say okay. that too but i totally do i that. think it's important to identify because you keep saying, oh i look at their, their human first that's what i'm saying so right. is gender not important to you at all um i can't say not at all i say humanity comes first and foremost regardless of gender looking at everyone as a human to me makes sense um regardless of like i said age sex gender sexual orientation uh race religion they're all humans in different forms or another but they're they're all humans to me so Mm -hmm. so yeah i i i don't know uh i guess it comes down to the individual personally i don't care very much because gender identity doesn't play a huge role in my life but i can understand especially the more that i've been learning about transgender and the trans movement uh how identity can be so big and effective in other people's lives Mm -hmm. uh so in that way if other people would like to be uh identified a certain way i have no problem with it i I was telling sean the other day because i used to i used to be really big onto like i've never been uh anti-transgender i've just always been big on like it's too many pronouns kind of annoys me 
Like, I just, I don't want to have to learn 50 pronouns. So I've, I've always been uh, man or woman, but you can choose whichever one you want. Um, but then I, I was talking to Sean the other day and I realized that I honestly don't give a shit even about that part. Like if, if you're a cool person, if I like you, if you just, you, you come off as just a genuinely cool ass person, then I'll identify you as whatever the fuck you want. Like I agree. I, uh, I, I had met this gender fluid person, uh, named, named Hazel. Uh, and she, I, I asked her like, you know, she was biologically male. Um, but she was gender fluid whenever I had met her and I asked her, uh, how she would like to be identified. And she was like, honestly, I, I don't care. Like, yeah. she's like, look, I switch around a lot. So whichever one you feel comfortable with, I was like, listen, you have, you know, you have long hair. I just, I, you know, and she, she was taking estrogen pills. So she had mm. some boobs. So I was like, you know, I'll, I'll go with she. And she was cool with it. And she was such a cool person, great sense of humor and just like really, really cool to be around. And I didn't care. She she could have called herself a cat and I would have went along with it. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. You know, and in the same way, I was telling Sean that like, but if I just don't like, if you just come off as kind of an asshole, then that's when I don't give a shit about like making these concessions. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even if it's a cisgender woman, I would still misgender her if she was being an asshole. I'd be like, listen, sir, I want nothing out of your mouth. You know, like, yeah, it, I understand that. Yeah. I mean, again, I, I'm. You care more about, um, I guess, manners and how, how rude like a person individual is. Individual qualities, I guess. I mean, like if I see like a rude black guy, you know, and you know, there have been times where like I've opened a, a door for like a black guy and uh, he, he said, spit on you. <laughs> no, I, he said thank you, and I, I said you're welcome, but I kind of whispered it. You mm-hmm. know, you know how I talk very, very low. So. Yeah. Um, and he didn't hear me and he came back to me he's like i said thank you and i'm like oh you're welcome like again like i don't i'm not one to care about like how manner like again yeah. if you if she if there's a person that wants to be identified as a woman and you know she's a dickhead uh, i'm not going to say okay man you know yeah. you know it's that's like, not it's like like little bullying for nothing for yeah nothing. it's just like yeah, oh you're I mean, rude it, it's petty it, it, it is petty and it's probably something i need to work on i'm just i'm trying to be honest about where i stand right now i'm not saying where i stand right now is sure, the end sure. goal but i respect that, that is up to the point that we're recording this that that is how how i've come into this okay because like i say like yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Uh, there are two things because we're pushing an hour. We're at fifty-seven minutes. <laughs> um, but there okay, are two things I'd like to time. end on. I'd like to end on the the debate between the word uh, female and woman. But or before female. that, before that, I'd like to because you mentioned masculinity and we didn't talk about toxic masculinity. Oh and gosh, I think that's a very that everywhere. That's, that's a very important thing. And I, and I want to say, um, I'll also critique this own this uh argument as well just to provide both views but um there is the argument uh Mm. spreading across uh, feminist circles now that the patriarchy harms men as well and the reason it harms men is because toxic masculinity is a product of the patriarchy because the patriarchy uh, pushes this idea promotes this idea that Men have to be dominant, strong, aggressive. Right. Boys you know, don't cry. They can't show and emotions. That is the None most of that shit. Deadly thing I've ever seen. Exactly, it's and and, so and, 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 and that's to, why like, school shooting. Exactly, movie. so that's why patriarchy yeah. literally kills wow. men it because they they get on. It, it leads to uh, mental disorders and mm-hmm. it leads to unhealthy coping mes- mechanisms, mm-hmm. substance abuse, which abuse of course deals of, of women. Uh, yeah. Abuse of women on the domestic level mm-hmm. everywhere, right? Um, so this is how the patriarchy actually harms men as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a cycle. The father teaches it to the son, the son teaches it to his kids and it spreads around and it's just an endless cycle that's just so deadly. And, and, and this is why, uh, I think, and I, I I agree with that argument. I don't want to put too much emphasis on it, right? I don't want to make men the center of every fucking argument, right? This is a women's uh, uh, discussion. discussion. Mm. But again, this is why the femi- feminism is for everybody. Right. It's because men are also harmed, phys- like very badly, mm. by um, uh, by patriarchy. So we all need to come together. We all need to adopt feminism, and we all need to use feminism as an instrument, as a tool to combat this very very deadly system of oppression known mm-hmm. as patriarchy. You are like wow, I it's crazy that like that 
within itself blew my mind because mm-hmm. I knew what obviously we all heard that what Nick said like mm-hmm. boys don't cry you don't yeah. do that men don't do that but I never yeah. realized that went in hand with this mm-hmm. but it's so sad because that like that that the ideas of the patriarchy mm-hmm. just keep feeding more people into the patriarchy it just keeps building more people into it mm-hmm. and that yeah, is it's like that cycle mind, of I'm like really mind blown by that right now because that term I mean you've got debated that forever and ever mm-hmm. that you know, when we do have children, I will never raise my, I will never raise my children different with different, mm-hmm. I, like, you're the boy, so you can go out to the street, let's go on, you right. need to stay in the house, mm-hmm. you need to do that, you need to do this, again, people can keep their own, you know, opinions on, you know, the way they want to dress their kids, I'm going to, you know, raise my kids to be very fluid and to be a very open-minded mm-hmm. people, I'm raising good people, not perfect people, mm-hmm. and I'm not, I'm not raising them, you know, for, you know, a Karen or whatever. I'm raising my peop- my children to love themselves and to love others. Mm. And if I do that, then I'm you know then I su- I successed. Right. Su- oh my God, you I succeeded, succeeded in life. Mm. Um, but you know that that to me, I don't know why I'm so mind blown by that. Like I forgot that toxic masculinity feeds into all of this. Mm-hmm. It's so just why is this so is sad. why men need to be feminists as well. They need to. They, again, they need to have this. They need to go on fucking the internet, and they need to read. They need to listen to what women are saying. This is what we can do. It's literally the easiest shit. If you have a computer, and obviously there's an amount of uh, class privilege in it, because not everybody has internet, right? But but if they're listening to this, they but yeah. if they're listening to this, right? <laughs> yeah. Obviously, they can go on uh, on the internet, and they can look up these people. They can look up and read feminists. What feminists yeah. are saying. Different types of feminists. There are very radical feminists. There are yeah. more liberal feminists. There, you know all types of feminists you can read up on them and see what they're saying listen to women they don't even have to be feminists just listen to what women are saying you know what i'm saying yeah and and men men this this is inclusive of men men gotta hop on board because the patriarchy affects us too oh right? yeah for sure if you're a woman though and you feed into this and teach your son that I, you have failed and you have fallen into the system and i'm yeah. so sorry for you and your your son that you're raising because you're you're contributing to the pain of more women yeah. So I really do. Wow, I'm I, I'm still forever like stuck on that because toxic masculinity affects feminism so greatly. Yeah. Mm. But again, like again, I wanted to mention the the critique, the the critique to this idea comes from again very radical feminists. Um, uh, they they argue that like, uh, it, you don't need to be a, you don't have to have a toxic masculinity. Uh, toxic masculine personality right. to be an oppressor all you need to do is be a man and this right. is also true right we also need to men don't need to be toxic and they don't need to be masculine to be oppressive right. you just need to be a man and there are societies like that where there are women there are men sorry who who are not you know they don't fit the standards of what it means to be um, masculine or and they're not necessarily toxic because uh, of that but yeah. uh, but they're still men yeah. Like and it. and yeah. this is an important critique of that argument because although um, men suffer from the patriarchy, they're still men, yeah. you know, and they're still they they still have that that power backing them. And Dude, we haven't even touched I, on incels. I, hold on, can I say something that I really liked that Sean said? You don't have to do this. You're a man because it's so crazy to me that like they don't. I, what's that song where it's like men make daughters, daughters become mothers? Like it, when you're a man, you affect everything. That's crazy mm-hmm. because if just being a man, you can raise a, a girl yeah. and mess her up to the point where now she over sexualizes herself, or mm-hmm. you know she you know she yeah. now falls into a, a domestic violence relationship, yeah. and you know if you're a, if you're a father, a grandfather, a brother, a friend, you it is your duty yeah. to fight for equality for women because mm-hmm. it affects all of this for the generations to come. Exactly. You are, you are affecting the next mother, the next president, the next lawyer, the next fast food worker. You know, women affect, women are part of everything. So when yeah. it's like, when you're contributing to these women and their mindsets, you're affecting their lifestyle. Exactly. So I guess we can, we can close it on real I'm quick. I'm so mad at men right now. Oh, <laughs> 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 guys up. Uh, real quick, <laughs> uh, let's just end, I guess, with these with All right. last five no, minutes. Because Nick has to go cook for his girlfriend because he's, n- he's not part of the, the gender <laughs> roles that women need to cook at home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what? Actually, yeah, you're right. Fuck that. <laughs> she needs to cook. I'm a feminist now. She can cook. <laughs> uh, 
nah, I, think... I don't want to eat her food. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to. She, even if she listens to this one, she won't make it to the end, so she won't hear me. I don't, I don't want to eat that shit. No, um, well, uh, this went really well. And I feel yeah. super informed. I feel super yeah. empowered right now. I feel super, I don't know, it makes me want to learn about it even more. Yeah. Let, let's, end on this. Let, let's end on on this. Let's end on this. Shut up. You're a woman. <laughs> like, uh, okay, I get the last word. Though. No, 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 I know, because we're still not talking about male, uh, female and women. So okay, wanna, the, wanna, the word female hold on, hold on, is not hold disparaging. Up. Hold up, hold up. I just want to oh, say the reason, the reason why I want to mention this is because I think this is something that has entered our uh, vernacular. I think it's something that we use on the daily, and it's something that is so easily avoidable. Uh, so this doesn't require you to go on to, to go to your local library and you know check out you know Simone du Beauvoir and and Bell Hooks and you know Kimberly Crenshaw and read all these feminists. No, this is something that you can just do yourself and just stop saying the word uh, female when you're talking about uh, a woman or a girl. So let, let let's talk about let's talk about this. I, real well, quick. Okay, so okay. Like, well, according we... to Bell Hooks, <laughs> <laughs> so, but see, it was weird because I remember he brought that up to me, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, but I wouldn't feel offended. Mm-hmm. He because, told me I remember, I remember because I, to me, again, I, everybody is entitled, and I respect any decision. If you want to be identified with no gender, mm-hmm. respect it. Mm-hmm. If you want to be identified as something else, again, respect it. But again, I'm I am a female. I. I recognize myself as a female. I I would like to be referred to as with female pronouns. Um, so someone you know saying, "Oh, she's a female." I but I also know how we were raised. I'm we're from Florida, so I don't know how other people talk. But that's that's a Floridian thing. It was like, "Yeah, I'm with my female." Like I and I yeah. and I, I I don't know. It's never bothered me. But maybe yeah. again, maybe it's just being around yeah. a bunch of misogynists. It never bothered me. I just don't think it's like crazy. Like I'm with my woman. Is I'm with my girlfriend. You know, it's like, to yeah. me, I, yeah. I look at it certain ways. So it's like, I'm okay with being labeled as my gender. If some yeah. others, I, then we need to respect it. But if it's like, okay. if she's okay with it, like what like we went over, she's like, oh, if I did it again, would that be okay? And I said, that's fine. Like, I'm okay with it. But it's like, but if somebody else did it, don't laugh in their face. Like, well, I'm going to do it anyway. You know what I mean? So right, I think right, it all right. comes to yeah. respect. <laughs> Because I feel like this is all because of what because I said some, earlier about women. Because at the end of the day, it's all asshole. about women and what they want, right? Like, I mean, I, we can nitpick it, look up a bunch of, you know, you know, di- like definitions of what right. feminism is. But if you ask a woman, she's probably going to tell you it's just I want to be treated a certain way. Right. So if a woman wants to be labeled as female, I respect it. But if they also don't, whatever. I can see how it's a derogatory. Right. And, and I even told you, I did tell you during the argument. I've I've never been I've never been corrected on it. I've never right. been told by 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 a female that like whenever I said female that they were like uh, I'm I'm a woman. Yeah. What do you, you think know? though? Do you well? Would you but say here's woman the thing. Instead, then? Here's the thing, and this is why I think it's derogatory, um, and this is what I've been taught as a man. So this is not me saying this is right. No, this is yeah. what I've I've been corrected, and I've been taught. Um, because the word female is female is sex. It's like male, right? Mm-hmm. So it's a sex. It's it's a identifying sex. And when you say female, what is a female? Female is simply a a, a member of a, a species. Is a species uh, one of a, a member of a species that is uh, capable of uh, reproducing. That's not true. That's what a female is. No, because seahorses they still have male and female, but the men get pregnant. Yeah, but in in general, but female, especially when it comes to mammals, they're male. Wait, Seahorses, no, no, the the men get pregnant. They don't get pregnant; they hold the babies. I thought that they got pregnant. I don't know. You might be right. Okay, so the definition of female is the sex that can bear offspring or produce eggs. Right. So so when we think of when we think of female in that sense, what we're, when we say the word female, th- that's exactly what we're doing. Is if somebody calls you Ariana. A female, they're reducing you to some to a, a vagina. That's like a vagina that's capable of reproducing and making babies. That's what you are. You're a female. That, now you're and, gonna feed my feminist mind sex. I'm gonna not be allowed. Anywhere but but hold up. But it's it's it's, it's it's interesting because like it's an adjective. It it's not a. Uh, it's used literally. A female what? A female dog? A female horse? Hold on. A okay. female what? I'm gonna go back to the seahorse. Um. Yeah. So the woman does put. Um, she deposits eggs into the male's pouch for him to carry. The, so he fertilizes the eggs and then she puts them in, in it the pouch? It does not say that. It just says female seahorse deposits eggs in the male's pouch. Male carries eggs. Seahorse emerges fully developed. So, 
Re- regardless, I mean, mo- for but most species, the majority, the vast, I mean, 99% of the species, it's the female that is designated to produce offspring. So when we refer to women and girls as females, we're simply reducing them to their sexual abilities to, 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 uh, to reproduce. So that's why nobody should call, like, I don't call my mom a female, my mom is a woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Calling her a female is saying that she's literally some something that can produce kids. So again, it's it's an adjective. Ah, I saw this female yesterday. Female what? Right? Again, female what? Because a female is an adjective. It comes before the thing that you're describing, the noun. Female dog, female horse, female cow, female woman. So when we're saying, oh, you don't call men males. Yeah. Right? We don't, we don't call men males. We don't. We say man. So, so the reason the reason why I'm, I think that we should uh, eliminate this word from our vocabulary is because again it, it's rooted in, in sexism. Even though it's become, even though it's not necessarily like, again it's not comparable to the N word or something. But when we call women female, we we don't need to. There they have, there are words for that. They exist. Women and girl, right? Again, we can get into the to the to the um. Specific. specifics of what you call a group of women or a group of girls you know it's like okay you know that makes a point that that's a point but generally speaking referring to women as females is derogatory because when we refer to women as females again i want to repeat we're reducing them to their sexual um production capabilities i okay i think it's really cool that he like really cool very interesting he's talking about it like this because you know like i said we were all talking about genders right we were oh. all talking about that and that's what he's saying it's a it's a label for a gender and what is a gender a gender is or reduces down to genitalia so that's what we're really doing so again i don't again i still stand by like the fact that we can use it someone's okay with it but i also i it's like again using when we're using slang, we don't even understand the depth of what we're saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's I like guess we, it, but it's again it's us growing and that's fine. Being trying to get educated over time, you know, we're just becoming better. But I think I need to. I'm, as you're talking, not you, Sean. Oh, okay, I'm not. I'm a woman, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> that's probably why. No, as, as Sean's talking, it's like in my head every time he's saying something. I want to argue with it. No, seriously. He like, goes, my I, misogyny is like, like... No, <laughs> I mean, but to some extent, kind of. It's like some part of me is just like... like. It's not that serious or who cares. Yeah, it's like it's like kind of like angry or annoyed. Some part of me is yeah. like, ah, fuck you. Like, it doesn't matter. Like, ah, it's not that big a deal. I haven't been corrected. But then I, I start asking myself, well, like, why? Like, if it's not that big a deal, then it should also not be that big a deal to just not say female. I mean, it doesn't hurt to say woman. It's the same amount of syllables. It's not a new word I have to learn or anything. Like, it's it's like literally... I know, Sorry, I'm actually right, like... <laughs> no, but it's just... No, no, I'm, I'm counting the syllables. Oh, I thought, right. I thought you were like in the slow clapping. No, like, oh, no, no, I'm counting the Are syllables. Are you trying to Aquila in the beach? No. <laughs> W-O-N-E-N. That movie was good. Yeah. Except it had a strong female lead. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the whole episode goes down the drain. No, but I mean no, I, I think it, I think it's just I, I find it curious that like I'm so obstinate to it within my own mind. Like even as you're saying this, all I'm thinking about is like how much I disagree with you while not fully understanding why it matters that much, why I wanna fight to continue using the word female when it literally doesn't benefit me whatsoever. Okay, Zuko. But, but would you... Your internal... What? Your internal no, try, I, because like I said, the whole point is I want to try to be as honest about my thoughts and feelings as possible. Like, I no, feel 100%. like... He goes, conversion. Yeah. Yo, whenever Zuko was like having the nightmares <laughs> yes, and sweating sick. and he wakes Here, up and he's like... I'm Iroh. <laughs> and drink this. <laughs> this tea. No, but seriously, like I just... I don't know. I, I need to... I, I can't, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say, oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm changed. I'm just never going to say female right, no. again. Uh, I think I want to understand feminism and I want to understand the, the, the plight for equality uh, within within women to understand. I need to understand the severity a little bit more before mm. I can I, I truly adopt yeah. it. You know? No, and I'm not saying that calling women women instead of female is going to end patriarchy but again this is something <laughs> that's that's things that we, we can start it. doing this is such an better. easy thing it's like just yeah. just just do what women are saying like go on the internet and just type in 
is it okay to call to call women female? And you'll see a bunch of articles written written by scholars, right wing <laughs> pedophiles, <laughs> <laughs> no, scholars, but women activists, it's everybody. Things, it's just like yeah. just call a, a woman a woman or a girl a girl. They're not a female because we yeah. don't call men fe- male. Again, yeah. that's sex. And I've it's never so called strange. a little girl a female. Yeah, you know? or your or your mom. Yeah, like, I've even. never called my mom a female. Yeah. So I just like. Realize yeah. that Nick has viewed me lower than him for all these yeah, years. He's oh referred God. to me like that. No, I'm just kidding. Wait, how much, what time are we at now? I don't We're know. We're at one minute, one hour, 15 minutes. So, you see, this is why the no, first because, episode went so long. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's, it's a great conversation. and We should and just everything. cut it and start filming next week's episode now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, though, like, I, I think it's amazing, though, that we're figuring out little things we can do, just yeah. using your word choices or, you know, recognizing certain things. All it literally takes is just some education. Yeah. Listen and- to women. Listen to women. Go read a book. Type in... D- don't read liberal feminism, but if that's a start, okay, whatever. Um, you know, we got, like, l- liberal feminists like Hillary Clinton, like, okay. who went and bombed she's, the shit out not, of Libya. I don't feel like she's a feminist. <laughs> <laughs> This girl, this 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 woman went out and bombed an entire country, killing poor little girls. Uh, but anyway, what men can do? Listen to women. Um, yeah. uh, check your male privilege. Check your friends. Just read, read as much as possible. It's a study. It's a process. It's not again. It's not like okay, now I'm a feminist. No. You kind of have to earn it. You have to just be read a good, it. just be a decent person. D- like, be a decent person. I don't understand. Stop I blaming rape victims that. for 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 that happening. Don't sit there and say it's because of their clothing. Don't sit there and say it's because she she fed it into attention or if somebody that's one thing we never touch on at all is rape. And I just want to mm. make that very clear before we end anything. Fuck for any man, if they really ever hear this, yeah. if they ever hear this, mm. I don't care if a woman is begging for you to do acts with her, and then in the same second she goes, "I'm done." Then mm. you walk away. Mm. I don't. I, I'm. I don't care. You. People need to stop. Rape culture is a big part, I think, of, like, mm-hmm. you know, feminism. You know, I don't understand why it's not, like, why will they sit there and they'll victim blame while they'll sit mm-hmm. there like, oh, she was wearing, like, slutty outfits. The word yeah. slut does not exist in my mind. Mm-hmm. I don't believe in it. I wrote a sluts manifesto in college, mm-hmm. and it did really well. But, yeah, I don't believe in any of that. Please do not victim shame. The Me Too movement is very empowering for girls. Um... I don't know. I did. There, it sucks because there's so much more stuff that we can go to inform. Dude, and I know probably no one's gonna hear this, but if one person could hear it and then just, yeah. s- just change, it's crazy. Because coming from a girl who's lived a, a pretty decent life, if not good, there's been so many situations that have changed me. And the worst part of it is, it's the biggest changes have all come from men doing something in my life, whether it was intentional or not intentional, whether I regret it happening or not. I'm grateful for where I am right now, but it's just, it's crazy to think that any part that has changed my life, whether good or bad, has always come from a man. So if men can just work on themselves, we will live in a better society. You you know, again, we're we're all in this together. Mm. Whether you believe in higher power or not, we all have each other. So why not work towards being better for one another? Mm -hmm. Then we can live exactly the way you'd like to live without problems. Well said. Great. Well said. Everybody read, uh... Feminism is for everybody by Bell Hooks. <laughs> no, I just There's a lot of documentaries one, on Netflix too, so there's yeah, no excuses. I'm sorry, I just wanted to end on one note. I, mean, I, <laughs> I want you to get the last word after me, just like in the spirit of feminism in the entire episode. <laughs> but I, I just want to say because I think like starting out with what you said when you said just be fucking decent. Yeah. Like I, I agree with that statement so much. I like I I've been and I've been it's been fueling me so much over the past couple months like the like to strive for just decency, decency. i don't ask for people to be good, good people, people. i don't almost, give a shit yeah it's impossible yeah to i don't give a person. shit about people being good or bad people like that doesn't bother me what bothers me is that people aren't decent like i want to live in a world and i was telling my sister-in-law about this earlier like i want to live in a world where like we have some basic level of decency you know there's still people who could break into your car and steal your fucking radio or some shit right but but that they go to break in your car they see that there's like like a a, um oh my god i'm drawing a blank a fucking for for kids a car seat they see a car seat in the back seat and they're just like oh they're targeted sex trafficking that's terrible no that's not what i meant well i know no i'm saying look if someone's gonna go break in a car they see a car seat and they're like 
nah, not that one. Like, mm-hmm. let's go break in another car. You know, just... I know it's like it's such a weird example of I decency. I was then, like out of it, so when I heard, yeah. that is a real <laughs> thing. That is yeah. a real thing. I mean, that, yeah. girls, uh, and as sad as it uh, is, we, we yeah, live in no, the Yeah, no, not a city. baby in the back seat. So, no, but we, that is <laughs> yes, the thing. They've been remember. saying, don't put girly stickers on your car. Do not yeah. bedazzle it, and do not try to cover your car seat whenever you can, because sex traffickers will look for that, which is disgusting yeah. that we even live in a country like that. Let alone I think world. that's okay. That I'm that is well. No, no, I. I'll be honest with you. So when her car seat does um sex trafficking. Let's save our ladies. No, I I agree with that sentiment. What's like entirely? I just meant like. Like, a world where, where, you know, even murderers are like, what the hell? Like, I wouldn't kill a kid. Like, I'm not a monster, you know? Like, like where there's some basic lines drawn in the sand. Like, like what you said earlier about how, like, how men shouldn't be applauded for doing, like, any of this. Like, for adopting feminism. That this should just be, like, the baseline. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, none of anything that we're saying or we're working towards is, like, good. It's just decent. It's just, like, some baseline of how we should all fucking treat each other. Mm-hmm. So I just, I, I just really like, I really hooked on to, to that because I was literally just talking about this earlier. Like the world would be such a better place if people could just learn how to do not do. be good, just be decent, just decent. Mm-hmm. That's all. That's such a low, that's such a low bar. Uh, One word, then she goes. Yeah, I saw he's like, <laughs> no, no, real, just real quick. Uh, please. Uh, we're gonna read just it. Study. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say the same thing. Just, just uh, to accompany that decency, take time to study and to read. Right. Just that's literally the bit. The, the, the most, the simple, easiest thing you can do. Just read. Just be decent and read and study. Go on the internet, read, study a little bit. Thirty minutes a day. Ariana? Okay. Um, Yeah, I just wanted to quickly touch on things that we weren't able to talk about, but we were all very passionate about. Um, So, really quickly, um, I just wanted to... We didn't really talk about it much, but um, being pro-choice, I think that is... You do not have to be pro-abortion, but please, please, please support women's choices for themselves. And please look up, again, study more, because 40% of women that do get abortions are ones that have ectopic pregnancies, could die from a pregnancy... Um, again, they shouldn't have to sit there and tell you their reason why. Um, people should be in charge of their life, um, and no man or woman should tell you how to do that. So, we didn't get to touch on that, but being pro-choice, I think, is a big part of you know being a feminist. So please support women's choice, whether they want the child, want to give the child for adoption, or to abort their child. This is not our life to live, and I will support any woman and their choices for anything. Um, another thing we did not touch on were, um, was the medical field and how they treat women. Um, I think it's ridiculous that we still live to this day in 2021 where you are not allowed to get your tubes tied. Um, some women need to get signed off by their husbands. Other women need to have both genders of children before they're allowed to get one. Um, if a woman wants her tubes tied, you let her get her damn tubes tied. Like, she shouldn't have to explain that to you. I don't care how old or old she is. You can reverse it. Respect a woman's choice. Again, choices. Um... We, never, we don't need to go into this, but a daddy stitch, that was something that happened. They don't do them that much anymore, but it was after a woman would give birth to a child, they would stitch her up so that her um, vaginal area would be tighter for a man, for the father. Again, disgusting. I hope this act doesn't continue, but I'm pretty sure it does. Um, LGBTQIA women, um, if you identify as a woman, you are part of the fight. I hope you get respected as such. I respect you. I'm fighting for you as well. Um, and the last one, the one, the women that don't get enough recognition, the women of color, um, you have been put behind for a very long time. Um, you know, women of color, especially specifically black women and indigenous women have been treated very, very wrongly, have been, um, you know, way treated crazily in the medical community, like medical field, as well as in trafficking. Um, I'm so sorry that this is, you know, the way that your country has treated you. And I can only hope that with the future of feminism that you are recognized more. Um, because like I said, this, this fight is about you guys. So as a female or not a female, whatever I want to be as a woman, um, I'm proud to be, I hope in the next lifetime I am. Um, and I'm very happy to be around men that believe in my opinions as well. So. Yes, I think that's it for me. I hope I touch on everything. <laughs> I think so. Uh, thank every, thank you everyone for watching, and thank you Ariana for coming on. Of course, I hope I come back. Uh, uh, you will for our thirty viewers <laughs> <laughs> that listen, all of them family I'm a rascal and friends. And I'm pretty radical. <laughs> and but yeah, uh, thank you guys for listening to Radical Rascals. Um, next week, I think we're gonna do education. I 
don't know exactly. Uh, Islam, you said? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Next next week, uh, we're going to touch on Islam. That's what we're doing. Uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, we're well, going to... Can we even do religion in general? Really? Yeah, we can do religion. Uh, religion. I want to hear. Yeah, and, and we'll, we'll do... Uh, and we'll try to focus on Islam and Islamophobia, but sure. we'll, we'll, we'll do overarching religion, how it sh- uh, shapes culture and society. Um, but thank you all for listening and see you next week.